Hello everybody and welcome back with CAC. In today's video we're going to be looking at Japanese snacks from Blippo, who are the makers of the Japan Candy Box, which is their monthly subscription. Uh, so I've just ordered a selection of things from them and we're going to do tastings of those. So today's selection we have got noodle snacks, chocolate chips, gummies, chocolate cake, topo snacks, crunky chocolate, and pure gummy. So to start off today, uh, we're going to go with these little noodle snacks. Um, I'm not sure what they're called. I think they're called something like yaokin or something like that. Um, but these are um, basically well, you know what a block of dried noodles looks like, your instant noodles. Um, these are just little snacks uh, made from that um, with flavour added on to them. I'm not sure what flavour they are, but Ooh, they're not just noodles. Okay, so we've got little bits of the dried noodle snack, but we also have puffed rice. Now, ooh, they smell kind of barbecue-y, so perhaps that's the flavour. Well, we're going to give them a go. Mmm. Yeah, they're kind of um, a spicy, sort of barbecue-y, tomato sort of flavour. And, um, so it's quite quite dry, and the flavour isn't that sort of strong, but mm, very nice. I suppose it's kind of a kind of a soyness to it as well. Just, um, yeah, the barbecue flavour definitely kind of wears off after a little while. But no, they're, um, yeah, nice, nice little crunchy snacks. And I'm sure I've said before, at some point, that, um, you know, the little dry noodle pieces that you break up are quite a nice crunchy treat. So, um, yeah. And, um, ah, here we are. Soba meshi. What that means exactly, I don't know. I know that soba is a type of noodle, but yeah, um, fairly cheap those ones. Quite small, not very strong in flavour, but the flavour they do have is not quite nice. So um, yeah, just a just a nice little snack. Okay, so next up we're returning to another familiar brand, and that is the um, Topo from Lotte. Um, now this one, as you can see, it looks a bit fancy, gold and things like that. This was um, one of their autumn special flavours. Um, this one, as you can see, is sweet potato. Um, I think they had um, one or two other sort of um, autumn exclusive flavours. Uh, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, either way, this is the one I've got. It's uh, you know a very nice looking package and everything. Um, so yeah, we're gonna give these a taste. Ooh. Inside looks very nice as well. Two of these sort of bronze packages on the inside. And we've got a pull open tab there. Ooh. They also look much bigger than regular Topo. These ones are thick. They're like pencil size. Um, they smell nice and creamy. It's got sort of, sort of, sort of a um, caramelly, sugary smell to them as well, which um, Topo don't usually have. So uh, let's give it a go. Hmm. It's 
not bad. But it has once again fallen into that old topo trap of not having too much flavour to it. There's like an aftertaste, which is the smoky, sweet aftertaste of the um, sweet potato, but it's just not that strong. It's not flavorful. It's not bad. It's just not enough. It doesn't feel like there's enough there. But, um, but yeah, it's a good flavor. It's very very creamy, certainly the texture of it, and um, there is a sweetness there to it. It's just <clears throat> frustratingly not quite close enough to make a good proper flavour out of, but um, mm, not too bad. And um, certainly very crunchy, and I do like the crunchy snacks, it's just, um, it always feels like with Topo that they're disappointingly not flavourful enough. Um, so that's just a shame, but never mind. Okay, next uh, onto this uh, little crispy chocolate snack. I'm not entirely sure of the name of these ones, but uh, as far as I'm aware they're like a little uh, chocolate cornflake cake, um, which uh, sounds nice enough. Now, I've had a few of the cornflake cakes in my time, but I'm not sure how these will differ. Yeah, they look very small, sort of hashed together cakes. Um, the flakes in question are very, very small and tiny. But um, oh, let's uh, let's give them a go. Hmm. Very nice and crispy, crunchy. The um, chocolate in it isn't as sweet as the chocolate I'd be used to in having one of these. Um, it almost tastes like plain chocolate, but I don't think it's fully dark plain chocolate. I think it's just like mild milk, like not very strong milk. Strong chocolate instead. <laughs> but, yeah, okay really good. Um, but again, I think without it being too sweet, you can sort of get more of the flavour out of it. Because otherwise, if there's too much sweetness in it, that can just overwhelm the rest of the flavour. But no, this is just a nice little treat. Um, not too sweet. Mm, just very nice and crispy. The um, flakes themselves after looking closer at them. I don't know if you can see there. No, probably not. The camera isn't that great. But it appears to be their little egg wafer rolls, sort of crushed down into tiny little pieces, um, and then have chocolate put over that. But I'm not entirely sure. That's just, that's just uh, an assumption based on what I can see here. But yeah, very nice. Just, uh, Nice little crispy treat. Okay, up next is the Canro Pure Gummies. Um, I believe we've done these before um, when they did the double kiwi flavour, kiwi fruit and golden kiwi. Um, I'm pretty sure. But this time we have a peach gummy. Um, these also are two different colours, but they don't appear to have two different flavours, so I don't know why. Uh, they're probably um, pink peach and white peach, to be honest, because those are two different things in Japanese flavours, or at least oops, the colours are. I can't. Here we go again. Old. Ah. Always good to have my scissors nearby because sometimes these packagings just uh, won't cooperate. So oh, yes, here they are, pink and yellow, two sides of the heart. So, um, well we know what they're like previously, they've got their granulated 
um, sugar on top. This is slightly sort of tart. Mmm. It's a really good juicy peach flavour. The um again gummy, rather thin and chewy. Very easy to chew through and just kind of dissolves away really quickly. But mm, very very good flavour. That comes out really um really strongly. It's like um <coughs> going from one extreme to the other from the topo. This one's got lots and lots of flavour in it. It's really good. Nice and chewy and soft and just um, yeah it's a really really strong very sweet peach flavour. Uh, very fruity. Um, don't really think I can say uh, a bad thing about that. Really really good flavour. Okay, moving along, back to the chocolatey ones, we've got mini choco chips from, I think, Mr. Ito? I think it's supposed to be Mr. Ito anyway, I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, just like little, little baked chips, chocolate chips. Um, they look like standard chocolate chip cookies as well, not like the, um, the usual uh, Japanese ones we've done so far where they're kind of like puffed air and gooey and things like that. These look like the proper crunchy ones. Yep. And that is what they are. They're um they're not as sweet as um the sort of proper cookies that I'm used to having, which um, seems to be standard for a lot of Japanese chocolate snacks anyway, but yeah, very um, very good though still. I think they've got a little bit of spice in them as well. I'm not sure what spice, I can't quite put my finger on it. But it's got sort of that like spiced bread kind of flavour to it. Like gingerbread, but not quite. Um, again, I can't put my finger on it, but yeah. Other than that, just pretty much um, standard cookies. So uh, yeah, less sweet, tiny little bit of spice in there, but pretty much that. Okay, next up, um, we're going to go for this crunky, crunchy chocolate. Um, this is Hokkaido corn flavour. I'm not sure, entirely sure what that means, but um, got some nice little visuals of the back of them being toasted in a little toaster oven and they got a little crunchy piece. So I'm assuming something like that happened in the process of making this. Um, so we've got a little pull tab to open here, which then allows you to open the um, box. Ooh, we've got a little character waving hello here. I think he's a cowboy. Um, there's a little comic going on inside there as well. You have to unfold to see that though. I'm not uh, particularly yeah, going to do that. So, oops, uh, inside foil sealed chocolate, the foil is sealed together, so just tear that open, Oop. and here we have a sort of golden yellow chocolate bar, um, and on the other side, texture, which is the crisp corn, crispy corn, um, so I'm assuming this is going to be something like a Nestle Crunch bar, um, but with white chocolate, so give it a go. Oh, now I don't know if I was just imagining that or okay. I'm 
I'm not entirely sure. But I think the chocolate itself also sort of tastes like sweet corn. Because it doesn't taste like white chocolate. No, there's there's something else to that, and you know I'm not entirely entirely sure because there's no translation on this, and I've got no idea what's going on in there. But it tastes as though it has like a sweet corn flavour to it, which you know is interesting. Not, it's not something I would consider great, or that I would choose for myself, but it's not bad. It's okay. It's um, not too sweet, a little bit sweet, fairly creamy, nice and crunchy, very crispy crunchy. Um, but yeah, the flavour is just a little bit weird. <laughs> But, um, yeah, again, not bad. I'll finish the rest of that, but it, I don't think I personally would go for another one of those. That's not my kind of thing, but I'd say give it a try. Because, you know, it's definitely it's definitely a new twist in, um, on the chocolate flavour. So, yeah, why not? Give it a go. And to finish off, we're going back to the gummies. And this one is um, Una's Cororo Gummy. Um, these are peach and papaya, so uh, something a little bit tropical there. Uh, we had the peach pure earlier, but this is peach and papaya, and there's lots of peas, and I like the alliteration, so that's good. It's uh, premium peach and papaya. See? Premium. <laughs> anyway, um, we'll see how different these taste to the pure gummies. So, ooh. Mm. Nice, very strong, tropical sort of smell there. Ooh! Oh, they feel weird. They feel, like, juicy and fleshy. Oh, they kind of... They feel like, um, grapes. That's a bit weird, I wasn't expecting that. But anyway, yes, there they are. Uh, sort of a yellowy golden sort of colour. Lovely tropical smell. Uh odd texture, but let's give them a try. Oh! Their texture is kind of like grapes as well. That's weird. Oh, I don't know how to take that. But, really nice flavour. Not that, not that sweet, but very kind of juicy and pulpy. And it really is, honestly, like, that they honestly have a texture like grapes and they have like this skin around the outside which you bite into and then the jelly inside kind of comes out um, so yeah mmm bit weird that but the taste is pretty good um, not as not maybe as flavorful as I would have liked the flavor kind of disappears very quickly and I don't think I'm a fan of the texture of these but it's been, um, been interesting to try. it's definitely been different from all the other gummies that we've had um, it's like it's like an artificial fruit But fruit juice has been taken from the fruit and then reconstituted into a new fake fruit, if that makes any sense. But, um, hmm, not bad. Not bad. Just a little bit weird. <laughs> so, hmm, juice. That is it for um, this visit to Blippo. Um, I do want to try and get some more stuff from Blippo because they're fairly easy to order from. They've got um, a nice wide range of stuff and they're fairly cheap and they uh, do free shipping and you get free gifts sometimes if you order enough. 
but the problem is that they really only seem to have a limited quality qu quantity of their stock so if you see something and miss it then they probably don't get it in again which is unfortunate but then it's still kept on their website like this is what you could have had <laughs> but you missed it um, but never mind um, I did get to try a couple of things there that I'd been looking forward to the um, Kororo is one I've seen a few times on Blippo but again most of the flavors had sold out so I wanted to try and pick up something that wasn't just the ordinary grape or strawberry or lemon flavors because that's what you get every candy in. Uh, my peach and papaya I thought was a bit different enough to um, try. Um, and then we went back to some old favorites like um, Topo and uh, Pure. Um, so yeah, nice wide range of things to try there and um, I'll try and find some more for the next time. So um, let me know what you thought, if there are any uh, flavors there that you like the sound of if there's any flavours that you'd like me to try in the future. As always, just uh, give me a comment and let me know. Uh, you know, like, comment and subscribe, all that business. And thank you for watching me in this episode, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. Leave a comment on video with your thoughts and what you'd like to see. If you like my stuff, hit subscribe and help hit my channel's goals. And don't forget to share, tell your friends, and help me hit my current sub goals so I can give back to you guys too. See you next time.